hey hi in this video i'm gonna show you how to import azure devops repos to github as you see in this ppt this ppt depicts my demo here i'm gonna show you a quick demo on how we can import uh, azure devops repository to github as you know currently in current enterprises you know the um, all the their source control repositories are being migrated to github because microsoft has announced that you know it's going to do azure devops sunset maybe soon right and that's the reason the final uh, ci cd tool for the enterprise from microsoft will be github okay so that's the reason you know the the all the enterprises are now trying to use the latest uh, ci cd tool that is github and the github actions okay so basically by considering that you know this video is is dedicated for such a scenario where you know you have the uh, task to import your you know the source code repository which is sitting in azure devops to github okay all right so this is going to be a very quick walkthrough session so here i'm gonna walk you through the uh, my setups here i have my azure devops subscription in that azure devops subscription i have the uh, two projects yeah so these are my two projects so in this video i'm gonna show you in this project i have only one repository so basically you know here what we are doing is we are importing at repository level in the sense you have a repository in the azure devops you want to now migrate that or you want to move that repository to the github okay that is the scenario of this demo right so for that case i have this uh, repository that is called cloud quick labs adio say so this is the um, source repository from the azure devops side right so we need to move this repository for example you know, since this is a demo i have i have the very minimum file underneath this uh, um, uh, underneath this uh, particular repository it has read, read, readme.md and the you know sync adio github.ps1 file right so but in your case you could have the you know very uh, huge list of repositories uh, you know very huge list of folders files etc etc right all right so so this is our source repository now i'm going to take you to the another side that is the you know the destination here is a github right so github is getting very famous nowadays you know we uh, you know the all the enterprise tend to move their source control or source codes to the github and you know and utilize the you know the very matured capabilities of uh, you know uh, github for for you know for for their version control and for their you know ci cd workloads right all right so i'm going to take you to the repositories of my github account so this is my github account and i'm taking you to the repository so what we do is i'm not going to you know do a, a copy paste in the sense you know generally there is a way like you know people tend to uh, uh, clone this one put it in your uh, local repo, you know local machine and then upload it to the uh, you know the github uh, you know github repository basically that is a very 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 ugly way of you know importing the repositories but since these both the tools like azure devops and the github are belongs to the microsoft they have provided a, a very straightforward uh, a path which can you know to which you can import the um, azure devops repository to the github okay so now i'm going to show you that as well so basically how we can start is you know we can start with the uh, by clicking on the button called new so basically what does this mean this means that you know we are going to create a new repository okay so but actually we are not going to create it but we're going to import it okay there is a button called there is a link here been given called import a repository okay so you can click on that right so here you know it will ask you to provide certain data which will be used by github to import that repository okay so right now the the source here is the azure devops okay so for that case what i have to do is you know i have to go to this my repository currently i'm in repository click on this clone you will get a https clone url i'm going to copy this one so i can show you that and how does it looks actually so this is how it looks okay which is a very big url right so i'm going to copy this um, right and then go here into the repositories copy paste the same thing right and here try to give the same name okay so basically you are not creating the new repository but you are importing right so when you say importing you know it is always recommended to give the same repository name like it is been given in the source side that is azure devops side right so i'm going to create the same one here you need to select the owner so who will be the owner in this is basically it will be asking you which github account will become owner of this repository i'm just keeping this repository public because this is a demo right and then click on import right so basically click on you know you, you just need to say you know click on import yeah 
so it will take you to the uh, you know the cloud ADO so it's directing you know it's detecting your project version everything and so here you will have to provide the credentials okay basically what it did is by using this reference you know by using these uh, these credentials like you know it has identified that you know it's a dev azure.com which is a devops you know tool that is what it identifies it identifies the organizations it identifies your project and then it also identifies your repo okay so this is the how the naming convention is okay so this is the username you can forget it forget it first one and after the at the rate you know whatever it comes it it tells you know what is the host of your source control repository okay that is azure devops then this is the organization and then this is your project then you can ignore the underscore get then it comes the actually the repository name yeah and by this one you know the the github has the intelligence that you know it has identified that you know yes i need to use this and that yeah so basically you know for this case why what we have to do is we, you know took step back again go back to the uh, uh, azure devops there is a button called generate credentials okay click on that and these are the credentials you need to use it in the other side okay so i will just copy this one this is my username so these are the temporary credentials which azure devops creates for you for for the you know import purpose yeah so i'm just copying those user and password and and just pasting it here yeah so i'll just do here and paste it so basically what i did is i went on click on the create credentials right and then copy pasted the same credentials here so and that's also click on submit once you click on submit you know from the back end actually the github has the logic you know github has that kind of intelligence that you know it, it reaches to that uh, you know the azure devops repository and tries to detect your project version control blah blah and i don't know finally it will actually imports the repository as it is which is mentioned here okay if you can see here and it's the actually the processing or right? the import importing has been done uh, you know since my repo is is very small one uh, uh, that's the reason you know you see uh, you know the import has been happened very quickly right so if you see here it says you know the importing complete your new repository is this one okay let's go and click on this one so basically this is where it takes you to the you know newly imported repository that is in the uh, in the destination side which is a github okay so congratulations okay so basically you have moved your repository which is sitting in the old and which is yet to be sunset you know uh, version control tool from the uh, microsoft that is azure devops right to uh, newly and and which is very getting famous uh, you know uh, which is very famous uh, which is also getting very famous nowadays that is github and the github action based uh, version controlling and also ci cd tool that is uh, github yeah all right so this is where we imported now i'm going to walk you through the you know to to make sure that you know you are you know your your branches are same your files are same your folder structure are same okay so on this repository i have only one branch that is main branch yeah and let me show you that you know it also has the similar number of branch okay it has as the same main branch okay and then i will go to the file so it has the readme.md file okay so this is my readme.md file it contains the you know chakra code or something let me show you that as well so i'll go to this one so if i open this one uh, the content of this readme.md file should be same as as it you know it has been mentioned yeah and down the line you can see that you know it is you know chakra code or something yeah all right it looks to be same i will take you to the you know one more uh, powershell file as well so this is the powershell file which is exactly been been you know been imported here all right so if i go down to this one and you see this is the uh, your your you know file which has been imported okay so what do i mean by this showing that you know basically i'm showing you that it has imported as it is there in the ado to to github okay so basically that's all so basically you know this is how we generally use the you know I, so here i have not done any kind of automation but i just use the you know the uh, github tool and also ado given options to just to import my repository which is present in the azure devops to the github in in, in a blink of eyes yeah all right so that's all for now uh, uh, uh finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video